So, after months and months of waiting and expecting, we have finally got our hands on Project Trouble in the name of Project Spagit for the Samsung Galaxy J7 2016, J7 Next, J7 Prime, Galaxy M10, J6, A6, and Galaxy A3 2017. And today could not be the better day to show you guys how to install it on your Galaxy J7 2016. Get, let's, get right, get, let's get right into it. So, what I got installed here is the GSI ROM or generic system image installed on my Galaxy J7 2016. If you don't know, GSI is an image file uh, designed for Project Treble right, to work on any phone with Treble enabled. And this phone has just got been one of them. So I'm going to show you guys the ROM I'm using. Uh, this is the PHH AOSP ROM and it is based on Android 9 Pi. All right? And uh, I got to tell you, it's just so good. I've been using it. It's just a lot better than AOSP non treble that I used a couple of weeks earlier. So let's go ahead and show you how to do it. Um, you can just install any other ROMs, not just this AOSP ROM. Pixel Experience, Resurrection Remix, Linux OS, Havoc OS, etc, etc, right? Because it is a GSI, right? So the first thing you want to do is to gather a, a few files. Uh, it's quite a lot of them, but it's not going to be that huge. Uh, the first, I want you to get the GSI itself. Now, I will put all the links, uh, all the uh, links, all the downloads down below. And so the first link you will go to is this, a generic system image GSI. Uh, by the way, if you don't know what the uh, tra project trouble is, uh, you, can, you can search online or I'm just going to say it uh, to put a long story short. It, it makes the Android updates faster and more seamless. All right? All right, let's get back to the GSI. So, you, so you're going to go to this website, which I'll put it down below, and you can find a pretty much a whole list, a cluster of all of the GSI ROMs from official to unofficial, from Android 9 Pi to Android 8.1 Oreo, all right? And you can find uh, the big names like uh, Pixel Experience, Linux OS, Havoc OS, Dot OS, AOKP, uh, etc. There's just a lot of them. Right, you can just choose whatever you want at will. Okay. Now there's another thing I want you to choose. All right, carefully when you choose these ROMs. Okay, you can choose all the GSI you want, but there's something you have to choose. Okay, so once you've chosen your desired ROMs, in this case I'm going to choose AOSP. Okay, you're going to hit the download, and you want to, and it will take you to this website. Now, under the assets, there will be a bunch of vari variants of the Galaxy, uh, of, of the AOSP ROMs, GSI. And you have to choose, since the Galaxy J7 2016 uh, Project Treble is ARM64 A only, you have to choose ARM64 A only, okay? It's, no, it doesn't matter what ROM you choose. But every ROMs have uh, that has ARM 64A only is the one you have to choose, right? There are ARM A only, uh, A64, ARM 64AB, and ARM 64A only. Make sure you choose ARM 64A only because it's the one your J7 supports, right? Just you know tap on this, and it will download the file for you. Okay. All right. Uh, at this point, you can just uh, download the files. The one. You know, select, select, select that. Okay. So uh, since I already got that downloaded, I'm just gonna skip this. Okay. So um, the next thing you want is G apps. Of course, it's G apps, right? It's very important. Um, there's one uh, slight change I want you to make. And you know, in uh, other non trouble AOSP, in standard AOSP ROMs, uh, I would usually go for ARM, right? This is the, the ARM is usually the one that I rec uh, that the, uh, that the J7 uses, right? But with Treble, you have to choose ARM64, 
okay because this project trouble is ported from a60 uh, from arm 64 so you have to choose arm 64 in this case okay so arm 64 android 9 or android 8 if you uh, want to choose uh, all your roms uh and of course you can choose nano micro variant uh, this is uh, uh your uh, your decisions and once you got that you want to download more files uh, by the way this is the xda thread uh that uh that i also be putting down below that 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 explains everything about treble the spagget the inst instructions uh q and a's uh etc and if you want to uh, read this read, read 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 this which i highly recommend you do so just uh, i will also put a uh, link down below okay so this is the thread uh you definitely have to sh have to read them uh, in case of emergency and like that, okay. Oh, sorry. Um, the last thing you need, um, the next thing you need, is the treble files. In this case, there are three files: uh, create vendor, project spagget, and revert vendor. All right. Uh, the first two are more important for installing GS, uh, installing sp uh, spagget. The revert one is for um, uninstalling. Okay. Make sure you download all three. And um, and the last bit of files that I want you to download is the uh, the kernel and the fix. The kernel that I'm using here, uh, the, the the spagget already has its own uh, kernel. Okay, Helios Pi trouble. But for a better performance, better experience, I recommend you to uh, choose to go for the Kraken Project Butter kernel. Okay. Um, that is not uh, ha that doesn't have a link yet. I will upload to my drive and post it down below as well. Okay, uh, that's in that's actually in the Telegram group. Uh, if you follow Telegram, the Kraken seventy seventy. There we go. Right. Make sure you choose the B type. Okay, and not the A type. Um, and the last file you need is the Wi-Fi fix because now if you use the Galaxy J seven twenty sixteen. Um, you have to flash the Wi-Fi fix because out of the box GSI will not have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi working. You have to flash that zip. It's in the Chase 710 Bro. That's it. Okay. That's also in Telegram. Um, let me show you here. Um, right here. Okay. It's called Chase 710 Bro. Uh, obviously, obviously, I'm gonna upload this to my drive as well. So don't worry. So that's all the files you need. Also, you need to be on Oreo bootloader by flashing the Oreo stock firmware and twerk, obviously, since this is a flashing process. So let's go ahead and begin the flashing process. Now, as a tradition here on flashing ROMs, backup is always a mandatory process. Um, now, you can use the Migrate app to make a backup. Right? This is a high recommended app. Uh, for backing up and restoring uh, throughout uh, custom ROMs. It's working very well here even with um, you know, GSI and everything. So it works just fine. This is the high recommended app I, that I use. So once you got all the files, you want to uh, move them to the SD card or an internal storage. And once that's done, just reboot to recovery. All right. If you don't have recovery, the Twerp recovery yet, you can search on you can search on Google on how to root and install Twerp. Okay, I'm not gonna do that here. And uh, you and in order to boot into Twerp, uh, you just press the power power volume up and and home button at the same time. Okay, those this combination of keys. One, two, three. All right, volume up, power, and home. So you will be you will be booted to twelve recovery. Mm -hmm. At this point, um, just do the usuals wiping, right? Uh, wipe the Dalvik catch system data and catch. Okay, you don't want to wipe the internal storage, okay? Because if you uh, put your ROMs in the internal storage, then you don't have you don't you, you must not wipe that, or else your ROM will be gone. Okay, okay, go ahead and wipe that. Once it's done, you can go ahead and begin the flashing. 
So hit the install. You guys go to my SD card here, right? And um, the first, the first file to flash is create vendor. Okay, create vendor is the first file you have to flash. Now since I have already flashed it already, right? So it gave me this, right? Not the patch. Okay. Once you have done the the flashing of the create vendor, go ahead and reboot to recovery. Okay. Ignore this message. That is, it is a it is mandatory to reboot the recovery when once you've done with the create event. Once it, once you're back into twerp, um, hit the install again. Flash another the second bot. Uh, in this case, it is Project Spagget. Okay, flash this. Okay, flash the Project Spagget. Um, also, if you use and uh, also if you're planning to install like MIUI GSI or Android Q GSI, I would recommend you to stay away from those at the at the moment because those are pretty buggy at this uh, at the time, uh, and the, the, and some developers have tested it and it's very buggy. Okay, so uh, it is not recommended to go with those ROMs. And so, anyways, it is done. Go ahead and go hit back. And uh, at this point, you're good to go. You can go ahead and install any GSI you want. In order to flash GSI, you have to tap Install Image, right? Uh, it will show all the IMG files. So we got the ROM. This is the GSI I have right here. Make sure it's in the IMG format. Okay. Hit that. And you want to tick System Image. Okay. You want to install this as a System Image. Go ahead and flash it. Right. This will take a while. Take a while. Okay, so the flashing is done, and um, at this point, at this point, you can actually reboot now. Okay, you can reboot and enjoy your ROM. Goodbye. Right. But there are a lot more files to fix and a lot more stuff to add to the ROM that um, you don't want to reboot right now. Okay. So now, if you want to flash G apps. Um, you can go ahead and reboot back to recovery. All right, so you back into twerp, and now in order to flash G apps, first you have to do the following steps. Now you're going to wipe, advanced wipe, all right? Tick the system, and tap repair or change file system. And then you want to hit resize file system. Okay, resize file system. Now the first try, the first Attempt will fail, but don't worry. Try it the second time will definitely succeed. So, let's try it again. You can see it failed. All right, go ahead and do it again, and it's done. All right, it's done. At this point, you can go ahead and install the OpenG apps, just like that. All right, once that's done. Uh, you can go ahead and flash the uh, Wi-Fi fix, okay? If you're using a Galaxy J7 2016, definitely flash the Wi-Fi fix, okay? That J710 Bro one, right? make sure that's the, the name for it, and uh, flash it. And last but not last but not least, there's the, the kernel. You can uh, skip this if you want, but for the sake of the stability, uh, it's definitely advisable to do so. Okay, at this point, it is pretty forward to just reboot the phone, right? You're good to go now. You don't have to worry about anything else, um, stuff like that. Now, if you want to go uh, back to non-treble, you can go ahead and flash the uh, revert vendor. That's another file, and you can then afterwards you can flash the uh, non-treble ROM, okay, of your choice, like Blackbird. Uh, Salvatore, uh, Salvatore's own uh, AOSP ROMs. Uh, make sure to flash non treble kernel and wipe the vendor partition. Okay? So, um, just like that, so the phone will boot. It, sometimes it will reboot a, se a few times, but it will eventually reboot and um, you will end up in GSI.
Alright, so it's booted uh, successfully, it took a bit of a while there. Alright, and at this point you can go ahead and set up your phone, it's gonna walk you through that real quick. And to clarify to you, Wi-Fi is working, right? I'm just, uh, there we go, it works just fine. I'm just, uh, I'm just gonna go through the process real quick and... Um, And boom, we are in. This is uh, con congratulations. Pretty much, you're in Pixel um, in AOSP GSI right here. Let me just give you an idea of how. Uh, um, yeah, okay, so what about phone? And you can see we have Treble ARM64 right here, Android 9 Pi, uh, Project Butter. Everything is working just fine. Now there are a couple of things I want you to tweak a little. Now since this is a GSI and you know, um, you know this is a made for every phone. Uh, sometimes the scaling issues can be found, uh, like like this one, this one right here. You can see the the icons are going a little bit off there. Uh, you can at this uh, in that case you can go ahead and change the DPI down. I'm gonna enable the uh, developer options and go ahead and change the um, smallest width here to 411 that is the suggested uh, DPI for all ROMs yeah. everything will work just you know it will be uh, perfectly scaled it works just fine alright so once you got that you are pretty much good to go we have Magis install pre-install here um, it's because of the project butter it has Magis um, pre uh, flash already, so uh, that's a good thing. Yeah, so that's pretty much how you install GSI um, on the Galaxy J7. It's very similar, just like that. Um, it, even though, like, sometimes you can get some of a boot loop because this is the, like a pretty early version. Uh, it's this version three, but you know, I guess something's still a little too complicated. But whatever. Uh, so we got the. GSI already and um, you can just pretty much install any GSI as you wish and um, pretty much enjoy the GSI experience. So uh, I'm going to be doing a review on one of the GSI ROMs very soon so stay tuned for that. But right now if you, if you like this video hit the thumbs up, if you love it hit the subscribe button down below and also give me some suggestions for future videos. Anyways uh, and of course share this video to your family and friends uh, to let them know of this incredible video. Anyways, thank you and goodbye.